Hi guys. Okay, so you got physical Israel after the flesh. Um, you have you can look at Israel, like who calls themselves Israel. They say I'm Abraham's seed, but it's not seed anymore. It's not Abraham's seed. It's not a physical bloodline. Look at where all Israel. They just had the scriptures. Was waiting for the Messiah, right? And those that receive the those who receive the Messiah are Israel. Whether they're a Jew or a Gentile, but there's going to be a lot of Jews who don't. And you see over in Israel, if those are the Jews that, if their nation was restored in, what, 1948 or something, um, if they are, well, a lot of them are receiving Jesus. I'm seeing a lot of things. But are they receiving the real Jesus and having a conversion of the heart? I don't know. But... But look what... um. Look what they're saying here. Okay, the apostle's saying here, you guys. He hath made of one blood all nations of men to dwell on the face of the earth and have determined the times um, appointed and um, the bounds of their habitation, right? One blood. One blood. Um, And now there's... um. And now anybody, anybody who receives Jesus is Israel. So whether they're whether they were born and they're a physical Jew or they're a Gentile, Jew and Gentile, um, you know, Jew and Greek, all are one in Christ Jesus, right? So we focus on our own salvation, work out our own salvation with fear and trembling, right? If we get converted, then we are Israel, we are a Jew. If we don't, if we don't receive the Messiah or we or we receive a false Jesus, well then, you know, we're one of those who would say, if you're a Jew, a physical Jew, you'd be saying, I'm of Abraham's seed. You know, but they're not receiving Jesus. So listen, it's not the promises are made. The the one seed has come. Now to Abraham and his seed were the promises made. Um, it doesn't matter if you were um part of a bloodline, because I just showed you we're one blood. It's whoever's in Christ, who's ever in, in Christ because the seed has come. Abraham, the promised seed, has come. So you have to receive Jesus and be an inward Jew. It doesn't matter if you're a Gentile or physical Jew and you receive Jesus. If you receive Jesus, the true Jesus, you're an inward Jew, a circumcision of the heart. So he promised, the promises were made. He says, not to seeds as in many, but as of one and to thy seed, which is Christ. So anyone in Christ now. Is a Jew. Is um, grafted in. The Gentiles are grafted in. And then the Jews, if they receive their Messiah which a lot of them are going to receive the Antichrist over there. But if they do receive their, their Messiah, well, great. Then they would be a Jew inwardly. So for he's not a Jew, which is one outwardly, neither is that of the circumcision, which is outward in the flesh. We're not looking at Israel according to flesh and blood because there's one blood of all nations. Um, but he is a Jew, which is one inwardly. So you're an inward Jew, a circumcision of the heart and in the spirit, not in the letter, whose praise is not of men, but of God. So we're a Jew um, in Christ. So it doesn't matter if you're physical Israel or if you're Gentile converting because because people are like people are like um we need to we need to look at the bloodlines we need to we need to look at we need to look at where we came from that's Israel after the flesh you guys it it doesn't matter it doesn't it doesn't matter. Because as long as you receive Jesus, you're a Jew inwardly. It doesn't matter if you're a Jew outwardly. It doesn't matter. And if they receive him, great. And if we're a Greek and we get um, grafted in, great. But there is need, because not all Israel is Israel, but all Israel will be saved because they will be made, Israel will be made up of Jews and Gentiles who are converted though, who are converted to a Jew inwardly. And even the Jews, Israel, who received their Messiah, they're converted inwardly. So it makes us one in Christ. There is neither Jew nor Greek. There's neither bond nor free. There's neither male nor female. For you are all one in Christ Jesus. So if you receive Jesus, doesn't matter if you're a Jew or Gentile. As long as you receive Jesus, well, then you're then you're 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 a Jew. Israel. Jacob was called Israel. This is what I'm how I'm looking at it right now. All right. So you got Israel after the flesh. Well, the Old Testament. You have Israel over there. God brought them out of a lot of stuff. They kept going back to worship Baal, and then God would bring them out of bring them out of stuff. Then their Messiah came. A lot of them received their Messiah, and a lot of them did not receive the Messiah and don't believe that the Messiah came. So now you have Gentiles. 
Now you've got, because we received the Messiah and Jews who received the Messiah. So, so now you've got Rome. When they came to tax, Caesar came to tax Rome. Here, maybe, maybe I can show you that. Maybe I can, maybe I can show you this that I put together. All right, you guys. Whose image is on the coin? Remember he said, give Caesars what Caesar and give God what's God. So he said, look up here, you guys. And he said unto them, who is this image and superscription? And they said unto him, Caesars. Then said unto them, render therefore unto Caesar the things which are Caesars and unto God the things that are God's. When they heard these words, they marveled and left and went their way. So give Caesars what Caesars and give God's what's God's. So you got, look at this. For the next four days only, get this free gold Jesus coin. Well, whose image is on the coin, Lord? Um, they, they try to trip him up into saints. Whose image is on the coin? And Jesus said, you know, and they say, Jesus asked, Jesus asked them, Jesus asked them, who is the image on the coin? And they said, Caesar. And he said, well, render Caesar what Caesar's and God what's God's. No, well, look at whose image is on the coin. Caesar. And look at who Jesus is down here, you guys. This is a picture. That's the image of the beast down here, right here, to the right of me. That's Caesar Borgia, one of the Pope's sons. That's who that image is. And then they made an image of Jesus out of it. So that's the image of the beast. That's still Rome. That's one of the Pope's sons. Whose image is on the coin? Caesar. That's Caesar Borgia, the son of Pope Alexander the Sixth. Caesar was a duke of the um, whatever, and he died. And his image, when he died, his image was forced upon the Catholic churches as the false image of Christ. So who is your Jesus? God has his word, one voice, one Jesus, okay? So whose image is on the coin? It's still Caesar. Look, look at it. It's still, look, look at to the right of me. It's still Caesar. Jesus is on the coin. You see what they did there? Since the Messiah came, the Romans came and took away Israel's place and nation. Took away, so now you got to look, you're looking at Israel, yes. But the Romans came and they're the new modern day Pharisees, okay? So whose image is on the coin? It's still Caesar. Jesus Christ? No, it's Caesar still. Because now that the Messiah came, these are those that received the Messiah and they're doing the same thing physical Israel did. It's a counterfeit. Satan is, Satan is, oh, he's crafty and good. Oh my gosh, he's so crafty with this. Show me the tribute money. And they brought unto him a penny. Who is that? He says, who is the image? That's the image of the beast, you guys. Caesar. Look at down here. Caesar. Caesar. Calling it Jesus. You see what they're doing there? The World Bank is the Vatican, you guys. They took a... They're still taxing the whole world. They're, they went and taxed the Jews. Now you're a Jew inwardly. The Romans came and took away their place and their nation. And they're still over in Rome, pretending to be... The spiritual bride of Christ, the mother, Jerusalem. That's why they sing Yahweh. They sing, I was an ex-Catholic. We sing Yahweh, hallelujah, I know you are near. They call themselves Mother Church. So so look it. In Matthew twenty two nineteen, 19, show me the tribute money. And they brought him a penny. Caesar, whose image is on the coin? The image of the beast. That Jesus image that they're going to give life onto that's already bleeding crackers it's when you life is a heartbeat and life is in the blood i showed you in the other videos the battle against the saints the heartbeat on the eucharist that's giving life onto an image the shroud of turin the bleeding shroud that's giving life onto an image this is caesar that's caesar you see what's going on here and I saw thrones, and they sat upon them, and judgment was given unto them. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witnesses of Jesus, for the witness of Jesus, and for the word of God, and which had not worshipped the beast, neither this image down here, whose image is on the coin, it's still Caesar, that Jesus is an image of Caesar. See it spiritually, what's going on here? So they worship the beast, um... The word of God and which had right here and which had not worshiped the beast, neither his image, neither his image, neither had received the mark upon their foreheads or, or in their hands. So they didn't receive the mark because we're sealed by God. We're sealed by God. We have a new heart and we're sealed because you're sealed. Um, let me let, let me see.
Because not only do you have a new heart when you're um, an inward Jew and you become part of Israel, but grieve not the Holy Spirit of God, whereby you are sealed unto the day of redemption, the last day, right after great tribulation, when Jesus Christ comes back and he resurrects the dead in Christ first, and then we who are alive and remain are caught up to be with them in the Lord in the air, then wrath comes down, and then the millennial reign begins. And other people have a chance. However, however that works out, we get to rule with him as priests in the earth, okay? And then Satan will be bound for a thousand years and he'll be released and get to do his damage. And, you know, you know, and then there'll be the great white, great white throne and the judgment seat of Christ, the two judgments. And he'll um, fire, try our works, see if they burn up in stubble, whatever's left behind. And then they get cast into the false prophet. And, um, you know, the Antichrist get cast into the lake of fire, it burns with brimstone, fire and brimstone. And that's how it goes, right? But grieve not the Holy Spirit. Why by you are, not only do you have a circumcision of the heart, but you are sealed unto the day of redemption. Right? You are seals. Talk about all. Let's talk about us. The persecution against the saints, you guys. This is how I see it. So, and they, so, so look at, they didn't receive. Now look up here, okay? And I saw a throne and they sat and they sat upon them and judgment was given unto them. And I saw the souls of them that were beheaded for the witness of Jesus and for the word of God. That's a persecution against the saints during the great tribulation, Okay. And for the word of God, in which had not worshipped the beast, neither his image, neither had received his mark upon their foreheads or in their hands. And they lived and reigned with Christ a thousand years. Right? And the beast was taken, and him with the false prophet, and that rough miracles before him. There you go. Remember I showed you the verse about these are spirits of devils working miracles, giving life unto the image of the beast, gathering them all into a one world religion, one proselyte. The mother of harlots and abominations of the earth is the Catholic Church. And her daughter denominations is the split in the Catholic Church, the Protestants. And they are gathering back in. They're the harlot daughters. They're gathering back into their mother, Mother Jerusalem. She is the false spiritual Jerusalem, the false counterfeit bride of Christ. She is saying she's a Jew and she's a liar and she's a synagogue of Satan. They are still Gentiles. So we're waiting for the fullness of the Gentiles to come in. Because it doesn't say the fullness of the unconverted Jews, the fullness of the Gentiles who are converted. No, the fullness of the Gentiles, because there's neither Jew nor Gentile. All are one if you receive Christ. The fullness of the Gentiles are these, the one world religion. Once you see that one world religion come in, oh boy, once that is taken place and you see atheists, all religions, doesn't matter what they are, Muslims, Chrislam, Catholic Islam, doesn't matter. All the Protestant, all the daughter denominations are all going to gather into this false Jerusalem. Mother, Jerusalem, Rome, Mother Church. The Romans came and took away their place and nation and they're still taxing you. The Vatican's the World Bank. They're the Federal Reserve. They're still taxing the whole world. Because who is Caesar that he could tax the whole world, right? And the beast was taken with him and the false prophet that wrought miracles. And which had deceived them that had received the mark of the beast. We're sealed unto the day of redemption if we grieve not the Holy Spirit. So we have the new heart. And we're sealed when you receive the Holy Spirit. You're sealed in your forehead. Satan's got the counterfeit mark on the forehead, okay? Okay. So he deceived them that, that received the mark of the beast and them that worshiped his image because they're going to give life unto this image. Right now it's just an image. Sometimes it winks. Sometimes it's got a beating heart. Sometimes the cracker, the Eucharist is bleeding blood, dripping blood. Now they got a shroud they found. They're giving life, blood, heartbeat. They're giving life unto this image, making it alive. And soon you guys, I don't know if it's going to be an AI or what, soon it's going to speak and cause you to worship it and bow down and worship it. And it's going to cause you to take a mark to buy or sell. Want well, to know why? Because... Who is Caesar that he could tax the whole world? Who is Caesar? Who is this image? Give on to Caesar what's Caesar's. Give on to Caesar. You can't buy or sell unless you worship this image that they're giving life unto. Unless you worship, worship Caesar still, who they're saying is Jesus. It's still Caesar spiritually. Satan is. Oh, boy. So so unless you worship um this, show me. Show me the tribute money. And they brought unto him a penny. And who's, whose image? Whose image? The superscription is on it. It's still Caesar, you guys. So this beast, this beast coming out of Rome, they're going to say you can't buy or sell unless you worship this. And it's going to speak, cause you to worship it or you'll be killed. You'll be persecuted. Because we overcome them with the, by the blood of the lamb and the word of our testimony. And we love not our lives and death. So look at, they're going to cause Rome is going to make you so you can't buy. Or, hang on. Sorry. <laughs> so <laughs> um, they're, they're going to cause, they're going to cause you to. They're going to cause you to take a mark in your hand and forehead where you can't buy or sell, which is still Caesar behind it.
Still, still the king, the point is it's the king of Babylon. We don't wrestle flesh and blood, you guys. We're wrestling principalities, Lucifer. That's why they sing Lucifer openly. They say they're the Illuminati, Freemasons, who rejected the, the builders, the Freemasons, the synagogue of the Libertines, free, liberty, free, Masons, builders. They rejected Jesus and they have another Jesus, you guys. So when they give you a mark that you can't buy or sell, still has to do with who's, show me the tribute money. You better worship the image that's on that money. They're going to cause you to take a mark where you can't buy or sell. But still, Caesar behind it. And who is behind it? The king of Babylon, which is the devil. Because we're not wrestling. Don't look at flesh and blood. you got to look at principalities, powers, the rulers of the darkness of this world, spiritual wickedness in high places. People are running on seducing spirits and wrought miracles. Spirits of, mir spirits of devils work in miracles. And I already showed you that in a hundred other, in a hundred other video videos. So, Thou shalt have no gods before me. Thou shalt not make unto any graven image. Don't make unto you any graven image or the likeness of anything. Caesar Borgia, don't make yourself a coin with Caesar on it. It's still Caesar, you guys, see? You understand? You understand what's going on here? The image or likeness of anything that is in heaven or is in the earth beneath or that is in the waters under the earth, don't bow down to it. You know all these scriptures. Okay, that's the point of that now. So the Vatican's World Bank. So look at if we leave them thus alone, talking about Jesus, because they receive the Messiah now, and it's only it's in the one seed. Remember, it's in the one seed now. It has nothing to do. Quit looking at flesh and blood. We're one blood. Look at who's receiving Jesus and who's who's receiving Jesus and who's not. Doesn't matter if you're a Jew or Gentile. Israel will be saved because all in Jesus is Israel, and that is the promised seed to Abraham. If you understand spiritual sayings. If we let Jesus thus alone, if we let him alone, they had to crucify me, guys, because if we let him alone, all men will believe on him. So now they got to counterfeit Jesus, another Jesus, another gospel. And guess what? Who the new Pharisees are? The Romans, because they received the Messiah. So now you got to look at this too. The Romans shall come and take away both our place. These are the Jews. They're taking away both our place and nation. So over there in Rome, they took away their, this, now we're, they're saying, Israel, who does not receive the Messiah? They're, Jesus told them, I don't care if you're Abraham's seed, you're of your father, the devil. If you receive the Messiah, which the Romans do, now they took the image of the Messiah and say, we have Jesus. They're the Gentiles now. We're Jerusalem now. We're going to take away your place and nation. We're still taxing the world. You're still going to worship the image of Caesar, you guys. So the Romans came and took away both their place and nation. So the new fair so so the new Pharisees is this, you guys. Look at the Holy See. Pharisee. The Holy See. Pharisee. And then you got then then <laughs> um then you got Rome calls herself the bride of Christ, calls herself Mother Church. Jerusalem is the mother of us all. The Jerusalem from above, right? Which could be our new bodies. Along with, along, because we're the bride of Christ. So Jerusalem would be an actual city coming down. Awesome. Okay, so Pharisee. And then you got, and, <laughs> and then you got, then, then you got, then you got Holy See. Because they received Jesus. So now, so now you got to look at, now you got to look at the counterfeit Gentile. Because we already know Israel doesn't receive the Messiah. You're a Jew. And you got to, you got to, God's just, God's just got to show you. Because I can't. Holy see, holy see, holy see, holy see. That, that is the new thing. And Vatican, Vatican actually means prophetess, I think. I gotta look it up again. I, I gotta I got look it up again. There you go. Oh, look at this, you guys. Remember I showed you the scripture before where um, they're eating the flesh of Jezebel. Je they're, they're prophets. Um, their prophets are telling lies and dreams and visions. And they're teaching their servants uh, to do abominations and eat the flesh of Jezebel. And that's the cracker that they're eating. It's not Jesus, the Eucharist. It's actually the flesh of the dogs. Gentile. They're still Gentiles, which are dogs outside of the kingdom, calling themselves Jews, but they're not. They're Gentiles. 
because outside are dogs and sorcerers and whoremongers and murders and everyone that loveth a lie, right? So this prophetess, Jezebel, Jezebel is a prophetess who teaches God's servants to eat the flesh of Jezebel. These are dogs, Gentiles. Because look what it says down here. Vatican, a name dating back to the Roman Republic, would be the place from where prophecies would be issued. So notwithstanding, I have a few things against thee, because thou sufferest, sufferest the woman Jezebel. Vatican means prophet, prof, not prophet. Vatican is a woman. doesn't mean prophet. She's a whore. Vatican, you just saw it, means prophetess, like this says right here. Thou sufferest that woman, that mother church, Jezebel, which calleth herself a prophetess. Vatican, I just showed you, Vatican means prophetess. That woman Jezebel, which calleth herself Vatican. So in Latin, let's just read this in Latin. Which calleth herself Vatican. That suffers that woman Jezebel, which calleth herself a Vatican. Which calls herself a prophetess. To teach and seduce. Because that's why her house looks like a giant serpent upon its belly when you look down from an aerial view. When you see St. Peter's Basilica. Because the serpent seduces. Be gullied. So you're not, you know, I fear least. As the serpent begullied Eve, Eve through his subtlety, that your minds should be corrupted by the simplicity that is in Christ, right? If he that cometh and preaches another Jesus or another gospel or has another spirit, you might well bear with him. Yeah, this house right here, Lucifer's house. So so Jezebel, the woman Jezebel, you're suffering the woman Jeze Jezebel. You're suffering the woman Jezebel, which called herself a prophetess, to teach and seduce my servants to commit, commit fornication. Because we are a spouse to one husband. They call themselves the bride of Christ also and the mother. We're spouse to one husband to be a wise virgin. Uh, make herself ready to meet the bridegroom, right? Because God is a father and he gave his son a bride. That's the church, you guys. And Rome calls herself the bride of Christ and the mother Jerusalem. So so they, so they to teach and seduce my servants, um, to commit fornication against God. We're supposed to be a spouse to one husband. Not go eating all this other doctrine right? We're, we're, we're outside of the kingdom of God. We're, um, we're going against, we're going against the husband. We're, we're going and whoring around, whoring around because what? Know ye not that he, which is joined to a harlot is one flesh for two shall come together and be one flesh, saith the Lord. So if you join yourself to this harlot Jezebel, who calls herself a prophetess, the Vatican means prophetess. I just showed you. If you join yourself to her, well, then you are an adultery, you wicked and adulterous generation. You are an adulterer. You're a spouse to one husband, Jesus. And look at you, whoring around with these fornications and the filthiness of her fornication and abominations and eating things sacrificed unto idols, body of Christ. This is the flesh of death, Jezebel. And I'll show you. Now, remember, outsider dogs. Outsider dogs, right? Let me find. Outsider dogs, you guys. So you're Gentiles if you're still a dog. That's why the Sumerian woman, when she received Jesus, you know, when he said he came to Israel first, Israel first, but now all are one in Christ Jesus, Jew nor Greek. And she said, you know, you know, don't, don't even the dogs eat the crumbs that fall from the master's table because Jesus is the master, right? So those are Gentiles and you're still a dog. And the dogs shall eat Jezebel in the portion of Jezreel and there shall be none to bury her. So the dogs are eating Jezebel. That's going to happen there. Let me, let, let me find the one where it says to eat the flesh, eat the flesh of Jezebel. Okay, it's 2 Kings 9.36. 2 Kings 
Okay, wherefore they came again and told him, and he saith, This is the word of the Lord, which he spake to his servant Elijah the Tishbite, saying, In the portion, there it is again. Remember, this lot is from me. Your, this measure is from me, saith the Lord, because thou trusted in thy own way, and thou trust in falsehoods. It's the seed of falsehood. Right? In the portion of Jezreel shall dogs, Gentiles, eat the flesh of the prophetess, the Vatican. There you have it. Okay, let's just go to this. Notice Jerusalem is called mother. But Jerusalem, which is above, is free, which is the mother of us all. Who is the synagogue of Satan who say there are Jews and not? That's Revelation 2.9. Um, Revelation 3 9. Rome sings Yahweh, Hebrew, Jews, guys. These are, they received their Messiah. They're acting like, I'm Israel. We're the new, we're Israel who receives the Messiah. That's what you got to look at too. Israel that receives the Messiah. Because th those that don't, Jesus already said they're of their father, the devil. And now it doesn't matter. We're one blood, Jew or Greek, you can all come, come in. And yes, there's more to it with 144,000 and everything, but this is what the Lord's showing me and he's leading me into all truth, isn't he? So Rome sings Yahweh, Hebrew. Yeah, um, Alleluia, right? It means saves, I think. Um, Rome is called Mother Church. She calls herself Mother Church. You know that. The New Jerusalem Bride of Christ, she calls herself because they receive the Messiah. Jerusalem Mother, counterfeit spiritual Jews. These are still unconverted Gentiles. So they're saying we receive Jesus. We're the New Jerusalem. We're the New Israel. We're the bride of Christ. We receive the Messiah. We're Jew Gentiles who, who are converted in the heart. We receive Christ. Now these are the Pharisee Holy See, modern day Pharisees, because physical Israel were one blood. They don't receive their Messiah. Some will, some won't. They're going to receive the Antichrist over there. The fullness of the Gentiles could be this one proselyte, the one where religion coexist, that they're gathering all into one. That could be the fullness of the Gentiles. Because these are Dogs, Gentiles, unconverted that say that they're a Jew, just like me. If you're converted inwardly, you are a Jew. Once all the world's denominations, Mother Rome's harlot daughter denominations, and everyone else gathers into their counterfeit mother, your counterfeit Jerusalem, claiming to be the bride of Christ, okay? The fullness of the Gentiles come in is, you know, is this these? Are these these people um, who are saying they are Jews, right? calling themselves the circumcision of, of the Jews inwardly of the heart, but are liars. The new Israel unconverted Pharisee house, Israel after the flesh, because the Messiah came. All are one in Christ Jesus. One seed makes you of Abraham. And these are, they. the Romans came and took away physical Israel's place and nation because now the Messiah came. So they're trying to fool people to believe another Messiah because they don't want you to receive Jesus. Satan doesn't want you to receive the true Jesus. So now Satan has a new Pharisee house of con con saying they're converted. We receive Jesus. We're the new Israel who receives Jesus. There's Jews and Gentiles in here with us, but they're all converted Jews. That's what they're saying because they're claiming to be Jews, calling themselves mother, Jerusalem, calling themselves speaking. Call, they call God Yahweh, Hebrew. These are New Testament Pharisees. Like physical Israel, same thing going on among the Gentiles, Pharisee, Holy See. If we let him thus alone, all men will believe on him. And the Romans shall come and take away both our place and nation. Doesn't mean the Romans are going to go physically over to Jerusalem right now. No, they're still in Rome, taxing the, the whole world. I showed you on the coin. Whose image is on the coin? Whose inscription is that? It's still Caesar, because that's an image of the Pope's son, Caesar. See how it all ties together? They're still taxed. The world bank, the Federal Reserve, the mark of the beast is going to come out of there. Because it's that coin, money, coin. That's the money. Caesar's on the coin. They're still taxing the whole earth. Caesar's on the coin. That's the money, the mark of the beast. You're going to have to worship the image that comes out of Rome. Understand? Modern day Pharisees and fake Jesus Gentiles. Um, not a circumcision of the heart, but they're saying they're Jews. So here's evidence. Rome dresses like physical carnal Israel after the flesh. They sing Yahweh songs, Hebrew tongue, Hebrew tongue. They call her mother church. Jerusalem's the mother. They dress in long Pharisee robes and make long prayers. They worship idols calling it God. They have their schools, their seminaries, right? They have their, their books and their teachings, right? Their credentials and everything, their universidad, their daddy the devil. They do rituals. They still 
go to man as a high priest, calling it God's way, calling it Jesus. Jesus is the high priest. We go straight to Jesus the mediator, but they're doing like physical Israel, but they receive the Messiah, you see. So they're saying, we're Jerusalem. We're the mother. We are. So they're telling you, go to man still, like physical Israel. Go to man as the high priest, and he will offer up whatever, tell you to say 10 Hail Marys, and um, you know, then Jesus will talk to the Father, Father will forgive, forgive you. But you still got to go through man, a high priest. So you see how it's still a Pharisee house? They sacrifice Jesus every Eucharist that now has a beating heart, you guys. Um, as Israel would, as, okay, they still sacrifice Jesus every Eucharist as Israel would an animal sacrifice. See how they took away Israel's place and nation? Because they received the Messiah. So Satan has to go about this another way now because the Messiah came. So there's physical, there's spiritual Israel. Um, he has to go about it. Hang on. My husband's leaving. Okay, sorry about that. I think we left off down here. So the other schools and universities, they do rituals. They still go to a high priest. Um, as Israel would an animal sacrifice, but with Jesus, because you're Israel, um, you know, you're a Jew when you receive Jesus, right? Um, the Romans came and took away their, the Jews' place and nation. These are Israel after the flesh, synagogue of Satan, who say they're Jews and they do lie. They have all the characteristics of Israel according to the flesh, not a circumcision of the heart, saying they have Christ, but they don't, you know, the new Pharisee house since the true Messiah came. So, so look at the fullness of the Gentiles. Woe to you, scribes and Pharisees, you hypocrites, for you come past, there's a square and compass right there, the Gentiles. G in the square and compass is for Gentiles. They come past sea and land to make one proselyte, one world religion coexist. And when he is made, they make him twofold more the child of hell than themselves. See how he's got the Jewish cap on there? Um, and this too with their mockery, with their, their, good, <laughs> their good Friday stuff. For the preaching of the cross is to them that perish foolishness. But unto us it is the but unto us who are saved, it is the power of God. Now the cross is power to convert you. Um, an inward Jew, a circumcision of the heart, give you a new heart, um, you repent, and God causes you to walk in his ways. Um, it's it's a obedient heart, good works that Jesus does, and and he works through us. But these don't have a circumcision of the heart, so these are foolish. They're, the preaching of the cross is foolishness to them. So see how this Catholic, this Catholic screaming devotee um, nails himself to a wooden cross on Good Friday. Um, it's mockery. The preaching of the cross is foolishness to them that perish. This is, this is foolish. And to us, look at it, its power. True conversion. These are not converted. They say they're Jews, that they're converted in their heart. They don't have the power. They deny the power. They're going about establishing their own righteousness. Like Israel, these are, have, they deny the power. They deny the power. They don't have the circumcision. They're not an inward Jew, what they say they are. The preaching of the cross is foolishness. That's foolish. Be not deceived. God is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that he, that shall he also reap, right? Knowing this first, that, that there shall come in the last days scoffers walking after their own lust. So you see this? See this mockery? The preaching of the cross is foolishness to them. There's no power. There's no circumcision of the heart. So behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they're Jews and they lie. Right? The synagogue of Satan, which say they're Jews. I have an inward circumcision. But they lie. They're not converted. There's no inward circumcision. They're not an inward Jew. They lie. Behold, I'll make them to come and worship before thy feet to know that I have loved thee. Because everyone's worshiping and wondering after the Vatican. The prophetess, the beast. I sat not. See, those that have power, we know the, the cross is power. We pick up our cross, we deny ourselves and follow Jesus. It's power to convert you and change you, make you new. In the inner man, the old dies. Behold, all things are made new. The old nature, the old nature, the carnal nature, the carnal nature dies. And we're not walking after the flesh anymore. We're crucifying its deeds and lusts, putting it under subjection. It has no dominion over us by the power that they deny. The power of the Holy Spirit, a conversion, an inward Jew. But it's foolishness to them. See the mockery? It's foolishness to them. So 
us that have power, but unto us which are saved, it is the power of God. True conversion, inward Jew of the circumcision, right? I sat not in the assembly of the mockers, you mocker, nor rejoiced. I'm not going to rejoice and scream along with you. This is foolishness, foolishness to them that perish. The preaching of the cross is foolishness to these. The other denominations do this too outside of Rome. They, they do this too, you guys. I sat alone because of thy hand, for thou hast filled me with indignation. So you guess what? Yes, we have a meek, quiet spirit, but we also have righteous in indignation, okay? Because this stuff offends God. And then you got this. This is Dracula. See the, that's, look what he's wearing. Dracula. Good Friday. Gothic. Not holy. Look at these synagogues. Gothic. Gothic. The, look what it even says. The Gothic, Catholic, Gothic. Gothic. Right? Darkness, you guys. Woe to them that call good evil and evil good. Put darkness for light and light for darkness. This is the congregation. The rulers of the darkness of this world. Gothic cathedrals and churches are religious buildings created in Europe between the mid-12th century. Okay, the cathedrals are great. They're great height, blah, blah, blah. They're stained glass. Um, yeah, house of spiritual death, you guys. This is still the Adams family. All die in Adam and all are made alive in Christ, right? These are still spiritually dead since the garden, the spiritual death of mankind. And that's why Jesus said, marvel not. You must be born again. Be quickened because you, Dracula, you are still spiritually dead in your Gothic houses, your Gothic cathedrals, your Catholic churches, the house of the dead, the Adams family, all die in Adam. The spiritual death, separation from a holy God, but you have to be quickened. And see, the builders, exactly at this point is when it shows, it's pretty crazy. 33 degree Masons, you guys, that's who they are. Because they mock God. Jesus ministry, 33 years old. Okay, when he, when he was nailed to the cross. All right. It is written, marvel not that I said you must be born again. So these are houses of death. Um, these are the Adams family, you guys. Well, you see, Dracula, okay? Well, that's Dracula. Then there's Dracula again. So you see how he's got the Jewish head covering on. So you say you're a Jew, right? For a man indeed ought not, you ought not to cover your head, Mr. Unholy Pope, right? I'll call no man father. You have one father in heaven, so don't call any man holy father. Because one is your holy father. No one, don't call anyone holy father. How ridiculous is that? For a man indeed ought not to cover his head. See the Jewish covering? They're saying they're Jews inwardly circumcision of the heart because neither Jew nor Greek. You're all one in Christ when you receive Jesus. Now that Jesus came, the Romans came to take away their place and their nation. And remember, God made of one blood all nations, okay? So for a man indeed ought not to cover his head. For as much as he is the image of the glory of God, but the woman is the glory of the man. So our hair is our head covering or glory. And we want to, a lot of times they put a head covering on because of the angels. I'm looking into that more about seducing the angels were seduced. I don't know. I don't get into the books, Enoch, and the outside books. Apocrypha means hidden unknown author. And we know Jesus is the author and finisher of our faith. So anything outside of that, an unknown author, I mean, I guess it would take a lot of discernment to know what is of God that goes with the scriptures and what isn't. But the head, we're not to cover our head. Here's the head of the catholic church. Because they all wonder after the leopard, which is a cat. Wonder, holic, addicted to the cat. It's a spotted bride. She did not make herself ready because she doesn't have a conversion of the heart. She sees the cross as foolishness. Denies the power. There's no inward heart conversion. So this leopard spotted cat is not a converted Jew inwardly but they say they're Jews see the head covering they say I'm a Jew in Christ inwardly but they're not because they have no they're, they're a spotted leopard beast a leopard has spots Jesus said I'm coming back for you know a, a church without a glorious a glorious bride a church without spot without having blemish without having wrinkle that means God has to work on the heart and convert you Make all things new in there and root out the bad, right? Yeah. I'm in these. This is a spotted leopard cat. So if you wonder after something, you're a holic. If you wonder after 
work, workaholic, wonder after drink, alcoholic, wonder, wonder after shopping, shopaholic, wonder after a leopard, a spotted cat, a cat, down here, a cat, holic, the beast, the leopard, the beast cat. Okay, then, then you got, okay, well, here you go. Then you got the Federal Reserve. You got the World Bank, the Golden City. Remember he said, take up this proverb against the King of Babylon, the Golden City, how the oppressor had ceased. Well, who is the king? Who is the king of Babylon? Look right here, Lucifer. Look down bottom, down bottom right, you guys. Lucifer, morning star. Hail. Helal. Uh, describing the king of Babylon. Remember, we don't, Russell, flesh and blood. These are spirits of devils working miracles. These people are running on seducing spirits um, and doctrines of devils, right? Um, a departure from the faith. These are running on seducing spirits. They are the rulers of darkness of this world. Spiritual wickedness in high places is what they're running on. So it's the king of Babylon behind all of this, which is Lucifer. It's spiritual principalities. And remember, um, Caesar taxed the whole world. So there you go. So there you go. There you have it with that. The king of Babylon. How the oppressor sees. Look at here's the golden city. Who is Caesar that who is who is Caesar that he could tax the whole world? And it came to pass right here. And it came to pass in these days. Came to pass in these days that there went out a decree from Caesar. Remember, I showed you who's on the coin? Shows the false Jesus image on the coin that they're giving life onto. And it's actually an image of Caesar. Borg Borgia, one of the Pope's sons. They put an image of Caesar. So Caesar is still taxing, and he's the one that's gonna. Issue the mark of the beast, the money. Comes out of Rome, the Pharisee house, Holy See Pharisee, Caesar Augustus, that all the world should be taxed. And they're gonna who's there, who's behind what's gonna issue the mark of the beast. Mark of the beast, you guys. See? Well, see, well, well I already showed you this. See, look at it again. Right? I already showed you that. Now look at this. These are the same Jews Jesus rebuked. If Jesus was here now, and he's like, Oh, you receive me. When he comes back at his second coming, he's gonna say, Oh, look at that. Israel, you received the Messiah. Well, this is the same thing Jesus would say if he was to come um, a second time. He was to come right now, and they already received the Messiah. And he was to come right now. He'd do the same thing. He'd tell them, you're your father the devil. You're the your father the devil, because who you're worshiping, again, is not Jesus. So same Jesus, same Jews, Jesus rebuked. You see that? A rabbi reflects on the law, the Jewish head covering. There's the Pope right there. And there is um, a rabbi, right? And if we let him thus alone... All men will believe on him. And the Romans, I'm of the circumcision of the heart. I'm an inward Jew. Um, the Romans shall come and take away their place and their nation. And I know thy works and tribulation and poverty, but thou art rich. And I, I know the blasphemy of them which say they're Jews. I'm of the circumcision of the heart. I receive Jesus. I'm a Jew. I'm a Jew converted to Christ. I'm a Gentile converted to Christ, an inward Jew. The Romans came and took away the Jews' place and nation. God made of one blood all nations. You're neither Jew nor Greek, Jew nor Gentile. All are one in the one seed, Jesus Christ. See what's going on here, what Satan is doing. They say they're Jews and are not, but they're the synagogue of Satan. So, let me tell you this. I know thy works. Remember they said, he says, um, they're, what do you say? He said something, he said something about their works, but well, you can go, you can go back to that yourself. I know thy works and where thou dwellest, even where Satan's seat is. That's why the Vatican from an aerial view, St. Peter's Basilica is the shape, the shape of an impregnated crowned serpent upon its belly. And it's the doctrine coming out of there, the fruit of lies coming out of there, the forked tongue of the serpent, the fruit of lies. Yeah, hath God said not to eat of this doctrine? Because Jesus said, beware not of bread, but of the leaven, not leaven of bread, but of the doctrine of the Pharisees, the Holy Seed doctrine that's saying we have Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ come to us. I know thy works and even thou, where, where thou dwellest, even where Satan's seed is, and thou holdest fast my name and has not denied my faith. So that's awesome. Who was slain among you where Satan dwelleth? The Romans and the fake Jews working together, turning them over to the Romans where Satan dwelleth, where even in those days, uh, where Antipas was my faithful martyr who was slain among you. Um, The, Ro the Romans was slaying everybody. 
The Romans, they're going to come and persecute us. We're slain among you. Where Satan dwelleth. Where Satan dwelleth. Yes, the Jews handed him over to the Romans. Right? And then you got this. The Jewish head coverings. See? From Rome. So you got the Jewish, the Jews wear Jewish caps. They deny the Messiah. They're waiting for their Antichrist to come. Okay? They're of their father, the devil. I'm Abraham's seed. They don't receive Christ. I pray some will. Some will receive him. So you got Jews wear Jewish caps. And Catholics from Rome wear what? Because they're saying we receive the Messiah, we're a Jew inwardly. They came and took away their place and nation. So we need to also be looking at Rome, you guys. Because that's where the image of the beast that they give life unto with the beating heart of the Eucharist and the shroud of terror and the blood. Heart and blood, that's life. And then the winking you see in Adventures with uh, Adventures with Jesus, Brother Jeremy. You know, he's just deceived about it. He's got the winking Jesus. That's giving life unto an image. That's Caesar. Whose image is on the coin? So you guys, it's not the person. The person's deceiving themselves and they're blinded by the the God of this world. The person is running on a, another spirit of healing and miracles and wonders, and they think it's Jesus, you guys. Hang on, there's a weird weird light coming in here. Um, so so they're running on spirits of devils, you guys. And and they're deceived. They don't they don't they don't realize it. I was into false healings and miracles and wonders and doing that kind of stuff, binding and loosing and casting stuff out with the wrong way, I believe. I was deceived too, but sometimes you know, then you can start seeking the truth. God is gonna bring you, God is gonna bring you out of that stuff. So so you're a copycat, the copycat holic leopard beast, the spotted bride of Christ, right? Who call darkness light and, and they call they call evil good. This means I love you. No, no, no. The woman that created this who was deaf, she was a Luciferian, you guys. That's not I love you. That's devil horns. I don't care if you have your thumb out. They're calling, you guys, spiritually, Satan knows what's going on here. So this is the same scripture, you know, the synagogue of Satan who say they're Jews. That's what's going on here. Um, yeah, I just wanted I just wanted to touch on on that more uh, about what's going on. Giving life on, giving life on, see, the giving life unto the image of the beast. Just like the other videos, right? Statue of Mary, weep in blood. They're all wondering after the beast. They're wondering all these lying signs and wonders and these miracles. He wrought, he wrought. Remember in Revelation I showed you? He wrought miracles. And then you got this right here. And you got this. Might as well show you in case you didn't watch the other videos. They are the spirits. They are the spirits of devils working miracles. Miracles. They wondered after the beast. They're going to give life onto it. They already are. Bleeding statues they're already giving life unto the image but soon there's going to be an image that looks like the jesus that comes out of rome they're they've been programming us with that image and and it's going to speak and make you worship it and people are going to believe that's god even atheists are going to join that because it's going to be about um you know since atheist thinks we came from apes it's going to be about su survival why well, I, I need to survive i'm going to take that mark because they think the bible's foolishness right i'll show you um so look at you guys. They're they're gonna take they're gonna take the mark. Um, and this this is an atheist who says who says this is an old this is an old friend from school. Um, and he says I'm not gonna bow down to nobody. I'm not gonna take no mark. But listen, if you think you came from an ape, you're gonna want to survive, and you will you you will take the mark and you will bow down. So it's a book of truth. Nope, nope. Um. Also, that's your own bra uh, brain. That's what I'm saying. Is my own my own brain is showing me things. My own brown showing you things. There you go. It's blasphemy. Brain. Uh, later, search the scriptures and find it's crazy. God's real. God is real. Nope. You know. You know. So. Yeah. And there's other ones I could show too. A lot of a lot of atheists. A lot of atheists who are saying, "I'm not going to take any mark, and I'm not bowing down to any image." You know what? It's a one world religion, one proselyte. If you don't have the power in you. You're not going to die because because they're making you put a chip in your hand or whatever it is. If you don't believe in God, you're not just going to ignore this Antichrist, this son of perdition, this man of sin, and say, kill me. But for what? You don't have faith in anything. Why would you? Who are you going to die for? No, you're going to survive. You're going to survive and feed your family like other apes. And you're going to survive and do what you got to do. So they say they won't take the mark. And they say it's bull crap. And if a mark comes and they have to worship anything, they're not going to do it because they're atheists. I've been talking to a couple. That's what they say. You will. You will want to survive.
you will because you won't have anything in you that's making you fight. Um, you don't have faith. There's nothing that you're standing for. So why wouldn't you take it? And if you die, you'd be dying for nothing. I just don't see it that way because naturally the carnal wants to survive, wants to wants to live and wants to fight. Okay, I hope this makes sense, you guys. Hope this makes sense. So you saw? So you saw right here, Vatican, the name dating back, blah, 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 would be a place where prophecies would be issued. So Vatican, I've already looked it up before. You guys have to look it up further. I cannot, I'm not going to go through all this. But Vatican actually means prophetess. And remember, Jezebel, Jezebel, this woman, this woman who calls herself a prophetess. So Vatican, who calls her this woman that calls herself a city on seven hills, that calls herself a, a prophetess, Jezebel, are seducing God's servants to eat things sacrificed unto idols. And these are dogs because outside of the kingdom are dogs. Gentiles still. You're not, you're not converted if you're a Gentile. You're not converted. So God says... See, you're not converted. You're not converted if you're still in this harlot house. Okay. For without are dogs. This is outside of God's kingdom. If you're not converted and you're practicing this stuff and you're eating the flesh of Jezebel, body of Christ, or Eucharist, you guys, for outside are dogs. The Vatican, prophetess, the Jezebel, teaching God's servants to eat things sacrificed to idols. Dogs. Dogs eat the flesh of Jezebel. You are dogs eating the Eucharist. That's not Jesus' flesh. That's the flesh of Jezebel, the harlot. For outside are dogs, you see? And sorcerers, and that's where all the pharmacia comes out of it. And idolater, I mean, come on. And murderers, because these are those that pierced him, the generation of vipers, and whoremongers, and everyone that loveth and maketh a lie. Yes, they love falsehood. They love falsehood. They won't come to the truth. So here's what God says. Here's what God says to do. God says, I heard another voice from heaven saying, come out of her, my people. He's talking to you. Come on, my people. All my people that are in there, come out of her. Be not partakers of her sins. Her sins and judgments have piled onto heaven, you know, and don't receive her plagues. That's why there's plagues and people are dying, right? That's why people are mocking God and then they die because God gets the last laugh. He laughs at their calamity. And then when they call on him. Lord, help me. Now I want help. He's not going to listen to you. You guys, he's not going to listen. He sees everything. He that formed the eye shall he not see. He that formed the ear shall he not hear. That's talking about God. God made your eye. God's the one that made the eyes. You don't think he sees what you do? God formed your ears. You don't think he hears what's coming out of your heart? Okay, I got to go. God bless you all in Jesus Christ's mighty name. Come out of her. God's people.